lesson 11.2, we're going to be looking at comparing and ordering integers. So it's to keep in mind what the sign is in front of the number and not just base it on the value of the positive uh, version of that integer. And we'll look at some more, we'll look at some examples as we go. So let's start out uh, comparing negative 12 and negative 10. Well, if I were to just think of 12 and 10, well, uh, not 12 and 12, but uh, 12 and 10, I would see that 12 would be greater than 10. However, when I'm looking at negative 12 and negative 10, on a number line, negative 12 is to the left of negative 10 on the number line, so negative 12 is less than negative 10. Or, I could say that negative 10 is greater than negative 12. So when you think of integers, picture them on a number line. Which one is to the right is going to be greater? So if we compare 3 and negative 5, well, 5 by itself would be greater, but since it has the negative sign in front of it, it's going to be left of the 3 on the number line. So I'm going to graph negative 5 and negative 3, since negative 5 is to the left, or I could think of since right is to the, or 3 is to the right of negative 5 on the number line, 3 is greater than negative 5, or negative 5 is less than negative 3. Both of these mathematical sentences uh, are the same, or they mean the same thing. So I order integers. So I'm going to order from least to greatest. So 16, negative 2, negative 35, 68, negative 10. Use 5 as the number line interval. So if I had to write my own number line, I, it says use 5 as the number line interval. That means that every single one of these little spots, these gaps, is a difference, or I could think of uh, each step would be uh, 5 uh, between. Because I said, you know, between 5 and 0, the absolute value of 5 is 5. But then between negative 5 and 10, we have a difference of 5. So anyways, let's look at our points that we have to look at. Since negative 35 is the furthest to our left, that's going to be my least. And it's also very important to keep in mind that I am reading the directions where it says order from least to greatest. Sometimes it's not always that way. So negative 35 is the least. And then I look along my number line, I have negative 10 as the next, or well, greater than negative 35. And then I have negative 2, it's greater than negative 10. Now I have some positive numbers. So I have 16, and then my greatest number down at the far, far end to the right is 68. So 68 would be the greatest followed by 16, negative 2, negative 10, and negative 35 is the least. So here's where I'll give you a chance to practice. We'll check here in a second. All right, so when we compare using our inequality signs, then, uh, well, hold on a second. Before we do that, we have another example we have to work through. You already have that part done, um, but it just copied out of order. So if we're ordering from least to greatest, 4, 0, negative 3, 1, and negative 2, now I need to actually plot my points on the number line. So if I look at 4, <clears throat> I'm going to put my point at 4, at 0, negative 3, 1, and negative 2. So order from least to greatest. So my least would be negative 3. The next would be negative 2. The next would be 0, followed by 1. And then the greatest is 4. All right, now we can look at our quick check. You should have that part done. Um, so we're looking at inequality signs between 5 and negative 3. Well, 5 on a number line would be to the right of negative 3. 5 would be greater than negative 3. And then I have negative 12 and 9. Well, on a number line, negative 12 would be to the left of 9, so it's going to be less than. 
So now I'm going to order these scores from least to greatest. But they didn't give me a uh, what kind of interval I need to have between. So if I want to think of my greatest, if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots. <clears throat> well, let's make, think of, count by 25s. I'm going to say that this is zero, so this would be 25, 50, 75, and then 100. And then to the left of the zero, everything that would be in the negatives would be negative 25, negative 50, negative 75, and negative 100. So I'm counting with intervals of 25. So if I'm going to plot negative 25, it goes here, 100, be to the far right, negative 50, less than negative 25, and then positive 75, be to the right. So if I'm going to score from least to greatest, then I'm going to say negative 50, then it would be negative 25, then 75, and then 100. I could also say negative 50 is less than negative 25, which is less than 75, which is less than 100. Important that I write them either way here because that would be showing least to greatest, least being the first one. That's the end of section 11.2.